Well, Holocaust Memorial Day is an international day where we remember what happened at the Holocaust, where 11 million people died, 6 million of whom were Jews, but there were other um, minority groups who were persecuted. And we remember them and we commemorate it and we talk about it and we try not to forget, which is the important part. And on this day, of course, uh, many people around the world light a candle in, in memory of what happens. That's right. We light a candle um, and we encourage people to do so. It's a gesture of, uh, it's also quite symbolic of light in the darkness. Unfortunately, the world today is very upside down and there's a lot of, you know, the Holocaust happened but things continue to happen which are really not acceptable because we obviously haven't learned the lessons of the Holocaust and therefore a light in the darkness is important. That's why we do it. Now you're part of the charity Learning from Auschwitz which uh, seeks to instill in young people the memory of the Holocaust so, as you say, these uh, things don't happen again. Well, exactly. We take uh, students to Auschwitz and we take with us a Holocaust survivor, which is a great privilege. So the children or the students can talk and learn directly from the survivor. We also take an educator from the Holocaust Educational Trust. Um, and it's important that students understand that perceived differences and bullying and picking on maybe other students in a playground even is wrong because if we don't accept that there are other um, religions or cultures or beliefs, we have to respect everyone. Otherwise, it ends up like it's ended up, it ended up in the Holocaust. Uh, and uh, after the hiatus uh, of the pandemic, uh, you have got things moving again to organize uh, another trip to Auschwitz. Tell us a little bit about this and how people can participate. Uh, yes, you're right. We unfortunately had to postpone the trip for a couple of years. We've now got the green light from the uh, Department of Education and we are now engaged back into the schools. Um, we're going into the schools to give our assembly and invite students to apply to come on the trip. Uh, we have a lot of support from government of Gibraltar also sponsors us, but also individual companies and corporations have been supportive throughout and therefore we have the funds to do and to, to carry out these trips which are, I think, very, very important for Gibraltar students.